Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to install WordPress on Kali Linux. This is the third video in a series of videos on Kali Linux. The final one after this one will show you how to ethically hack a WordPress site. So the first thing we're going to do here is we're going to navigate to the WordPress download page, which is wordpress.org forward slash download. So I'm going to click here to download the .tar.gz. Okay, so while this is downloading, we'll just go back to our terminal here. Okay. Okay. So we're just going to make sure we have all the bits and pieces that we need for WordPress to run. Some of these come installed by default in Kali, but we'll just run through them anyway, just to make sure that you have them on your system. So the first thing we're going to do is run apt get install apache2, which is our web server. Okay, and we can see it's already installed by default. So I'm going to press the up arrow here to get my previous command. And I'm now going to put in apt get install php. Grand, and we can see php is already installed. So next we're just going to check for MariaDB. And, oh, I cannot locate the package. Okay, let's have a look here. Let's try MariaDB server. Okay, there we go. So this is going to install now. So I'll just pause this video for a second. Okay, and we can see here by the looks of it, MariaDB has installed. Let's make this a little bigger. Okay, perfect. So let's just make sure that we have the client as well by running app get install MariaDB client. Okay, and we can see this is going to go fetch and download as well. So I'll just pause the video here again. Okay, we're back here now. So what we're gonna do is just start a few of those services that we need. So the first one I'm gonna start is Apache. So I'm gonna go service Apache to start. Okay, that's started there. Now let's do MariaDB. And hopefully this will start for us now in a second. Okay, and we can see this has started for us now. Okay, now we are going to create our WordPress database. So I'm going to log in to MariaDB by doing my SQL minus U root minus P and hitting enter. And there is no password at the moment, so let's click enter. Okay, brilliant. So the command we're going to run is create database. And we're just going to call it WordPress. And finish your command off with a semicolon and hit enter. So it looks okay. We'll just run it show databases. Grant. And we can see our WordPress one is there, which is perfect. So now what we need to do is move that WordPress tarball that we downloaded into our Apache home directory. Okay, so now we'll cd into our downloads folder. So let's just do an ls here. Perfect. And then cd into downloads. Okay. And we can see our WordPress tarball here. So let's move this into var dub 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 html. Help if I put in what I wanted to move first. So WordPress. There we go. Okay, perfect. Let's do. So now we will move into our var dub 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 HTML directory using CD. I'll put all the commands that you need also below, so you can just copy and paste them in. So we can see WordPress is here. So I'm going to type in tar 
space hyphen zxvf and use tab complete and the tab complete the WordPress turbo. Okay, so we can see this is running here. Okay, so once the untarring process has completed, if you type in ls, you can now see we have a WordPress directory, so we should be able to cd into there. And we just run ls, and perfect, that all looks okay. Okay, now that we have our WordPress untarred and ready to go here, let's configure Apache to pick up the index.php file that exists here. Okay, so we're going to cd into etc sites available. Oh, sorry, Apache 2 sites available. You can just use tab complete in here as well to tab out your, your directories. Okay, so let's run an ls here. And let's just configure the default. Again, this is purely just for a test environment. In the live environment, you most likely give it its own comp file. But just here for the sake of it quickly, we're just going to go in here. So you can use by or an editor of your choice. So I'm going to come down to document root here. Go and press I to go into insert mode. And put forward slash WordPress here. Okay, and then I'm going to press escape, colon, W quit for save and then quit and then exclamation mark. Okay, perfect. So what I'll do here, I'm just going to restart Apache as well by doing service Apache to restart. And this will just take a second and it's now restart. Okay, now that that's done, let's just go to Firefox here and we're just going to navigate to our localhost once this opens up. Okay. Grand, and we can see WordPress is working for us here. So let's just click, let's go here. Okay, so it's looking for a database name, which is WordPress. It's looking for a username. I'm just gonna put in Darren here. Password, let's just say password123. Obviously, it's just a test system. If you were using something on a live system, we'd need a good password. So now that we have this, we just need to go back to our MariaDB installation. Okay, so we'll go back to our terminal here. We'll type in my SQL space minus U root space minus P. And again, there's no passwords, click enter. So I have this command on the clipboard, so I'll just paste it in here, so don't watch me type it. So it's grant all, you do an on here, grant all on WordPress, dot star to Darren at localhost, identified by password one, two, three. Okay, so that looks like it's worked there. So now we need to go back to our WordPress. Okay, so it looks like we're nearly getting there now. So let's just click submit here. Okay, so we're just getting an error here that's saying it couldn't create the WP config PHP file. So that's no problem. So what we'll just do here is we'll just copy this text here. We'll just click up in applications. We'll check our favorites here, leaf pad. What we'll do, we'll just paste this file in here. Let's make sure all that's pasted. Yeah, it all looks okay. So we'll go file, save as. We'll go to the file system and we'll navigate through the GUI to our Apache directory, which is var dub 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 HTML WordPress. And we need to call this w, WP config dot php and once you have that done just click save and then we'll click run the install okay perfect so this looks like it's run for us so we're just going to call our site test i'm going to give the username of darren 
I'm going to use a bad password here because we'll use this later of password one, two, three. And I'll confirm the use of a weak password. Uh, it's going to put in test at test.com and I'm going to click install WordPress. And I don't want this remembered. So I'll just pause the video here for a moment while this is installing. Okay, we're back here and we can see WordPress has now successfully been installed. Um, if you encounter any issues, be sure to comment below and if I can assist, I certainly can. And thanks for watching.